Ode Osborne, good to see you on the red carpet here. Before we talk about you and your fight August 5th, your buddy Val Woodburn going to be fighting Bo Nickel. I know you had the tweet out there. How excited are you for him? Because I know he was a guy that should have been in the UFC a while ago. Man, that just gave me goosebumps that you said that because I literally have goosebumps right now. Um, mainly because, not only because Val is a good friend of mine, but because you see the UFC, you know, promoting all the, you know, Mexico, or you see them promoting, um, you know, Australia and all the different nationalities. And I think it's time now for the Jamaicans to show what we can do. You see, you know, you, everybody knows that you Usain Bolt. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm excited for Val to put on, you know what I mean? And win, lose, or draw, I believe he's going to go out there and give it all he's got because that's, that's all we know. We all come from the trenches in Jamaica, you know what I mean? First time I moved to the States, I, you know, filled up the bathtub in my apartment. You know why I did that? Because I had never, ever seen a bathtub. And the first time I moved to the States, I filled up the bathtub and played in the water because I've never seen a bathtub. I've never been in warm water. And I realized, one, that this is the greatest country, I said this before, and two, that, you know, I take a lot of things for granted now when I think back at my bathtub experience and it makes me, it kind of humbles me a little bit. So the reason why I brought that up is because I know Val has been through the same trench, you know, that I've been through in Jamaica. So I'm excited for him and all the other Jamaican fighters that's coming up and doing things for Jamaica. And you're back in action August 5th. What, what do you know about your opponent, a newcomer coming over from Brave uh, CF? Um, stylistically, how are you looking at this fight? Uh, I know that he's 17 and two from Kazakhstan. Um, you know, I look at this fight like he's gonna come out, swing, try to take me down. If you've watched any of my fights, you know that I'm not an easy person to take down. I've only been taken down once in the octagon. Not only that, but every fight that I've lost has been on two weeks notice. Manil Kopp, two week notice. Tyson Nam, three week notice. You know what I'm saying? Every fight that I've won, I've had a full camp. So um, no more two week, three week notice fights because you know I'm getting paid now so I can afford to be like, nah, I'm gonna train the whole way. So I think, you know, this is a new era for Ode Osborne, and I, I'm excited to show the fans a new version of myself, especially being with Dewey Cooper, you know, Black Cobra. Man, that man is a monster, and he's brought out the best of me. And just last one for me, your podcast, you're killing it. I see the clips all the time on social media. Who's a guest you'd like to get on that you haven't had on yet that's kind of like a dream guest for you? Um, I really want to get on Adesanya, because... Uh, him and I go way back. The first time I came to the UFCPI, uh, he did a, a video for my students because my students are huge anime fans. And so he was like, hey, let's do a video for your students. You know what I mean? And I was like, I thought that was so dope. He didn't say, hey, let's do this to get some promotion. or let's do." He was like, hey, let's do this for your students. And, uh, you know, Adesanya is one of those characters that he's so genuine and authentic. What you see is what you get. He's not gonna give you something that isn't him, and I love that. And um, if you guys don't know, I also do a youth program here with the Las Vegas Metro Police Officers. We go into schools and teach them different core values, you know, respect, how to have discipline, how to maintain discipline, you know, going past high school and, and college, because usually when students leave, no one uses PEMDAS or, you know, A squared plus B squared plus C squared, but if I can tell them, and teach them discipline. That's something they can take with them forever. You spoke about Jamaican fighters. We have obviously Leon Edwards yes. who captured the title. He comes from a similar background to you. What was it like seeing him come from where he came from like you uh, and, and capture a title in the UFC? Again, gave me goosebumps because Leon Edwards didn't just come from the same place I came from. He came from the same city as me. He, we were born in the same hospital. You know, so for me, seeing somebody like that becoming champion, it's, it's huge, you know, and I know now that I can do the same thing that Leon Edwards did. And not only that, but all the students that I, you know, mentor and motivate, they're seeing the same thing that I'm seeing. So they're seeing it through me, I'm seeing it through Leon. And it's just a, you know, a, a steady flow of stream, just motivating people and, you know, I, I love the, the Jamaican fighters that we have, you know, Randy Brown, Aljo, even though he's, you know, his parents are Jamaican. Um, now we have Val Woodburn fighting Bo Nickel, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's great just being, being able to be on the map because we're such a, a small country. We're a small country, there's a saying in Jamaica, we're small but we're Talawa. You know what Talawa means? We're small but we're bad. <laughs> his title soon against Sean O'Malley. Sean O'Malley, how do you think that fight goes down? 
Trust me. So Al Jermaine has been helping me with my camp a lot, you know, preparing for Asu Al Mabayev. So I've seen and felt his his grappling, and let me tell you, <laughs> I think I think we all know how it's gonna go. I don't even I don't even need to say. I think we all know how it's gonna go. And this weekend, what fights are you looking forward to seeing? Of course, other than Val. Oh man, well, come on now, Alexander Volkanovsky and Yair Rodriguez. Um, I really want to see Yair Rodriguez because he, his style is so electric. It's so you know he's got a lot of thunder. Also, Brandon Moreno and Pantoja. That's a really, really, uh, it's almost like a Izzy Pajeda, you know what I'm saying? It's, you're almost kind of the same dynamic where Moreno has lost to him twice. And, you know, this is an opportunity to show that he has evolved, that he has grown, that he has, you know, endured. And can he step up and rise to the occasion and keep his belt? That's the big question. I don't know, but I hope he can. You know, I'm, I'm really rooting for him. Goes down though, and, you know. You mentioned about the style of, of Rodriguez. How do you think they match up on the night, and how do you think it goes down? Honestly, um, I think Rodriguez is going to surprise a lot of people. Um, if he doesn't, and he, he takes an L, um, either way, he's going to look good because that's what he does. I've I've hung out with him. I, I know his mindset. I know his you know how he thinks, and he's very very like a free spirit and so he's gonna be like Picasso in there just flow and paint on that canvas and uh, last one for me a big title fight a BMF title fight coming up what do you think about that between Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje uh, so what's interesting about Dustin Poirier and um, uh, Gaethje is that they kind of both have the same losses and the same wins from the same people so it's like the perfect combination Either way, how that fight goes, it's going to be amazing. Um, I'm a huge Dustin Gaethje fan, so I got to swing a little bit, like a hair towards Gaethje, just because I feel like he's one of those just like durable, like just tanks, you know what I mean? He's like a juggernaut. Only way to beat him is to either knock him out or sub him, you know, so I I'm excited for that one. Sorry, and then the last one, I have to ask you, Islam Makhachev uh, and Charles Oliveira, if they run it back again, how do you see that going down? Oh uh, man, I think it's a new era for Islam, you know what I mean? I love Charles and everybody loves Charles. Who doesn't love Charles Oliveira? Charles had paved the way for so many fighters, but I just think it's a new era for Islam, you know what I mean? And um, when you're just starting out, that hunger is different than when you've been in it for a while. Like for me, you know, I, I'm, I'm new to the game, so I'm super hungry. And I see that in Islam. I see the hunger and I see you know, those kind of, those fighters, those Dagestanis, they're not going out and partying. They're not, they don't care about social media. All they're doing is they're waking up, eating, working, working up, eating, go, working, going to sleep, working. That's all they do, you know, so I'm excited for that. I think it'll go the same way. One day the Hall of Fame is about the people and the performances we want to remember forever. For your career, what is the moment you'll remember forever? This is the moment I'll remember forever for my career because, you know, as a kid, you see, you, you watch the MTV, you know, Music Awards, the BET Music Awards, the Country Music Awards, and you dream of being on a red carpet as a kid. And so now I get the chance to actually be on a red carpet. You have no idea what that's like. Coming from Jamaica, watching all those red carpet events from Jamaica to actually making it on a red carpet myself is a dream come true. And I cannot express how grateful and blessed I am about it.